Underground vehicle interaction is a very complicated uh, issue. Using the MISS Miss initiative, we're taking a pragmatic, holistic approach to tackle it in a number of different ways. Since the implementation of the in-vehicle management system as part of the MISS at Sunrise Dam, um, we've seen positive driver behaviour due to accountability, uh, which has led to reduced incidents and also less cost on vehicles. As a bogger operator, or loader, underground loader operator, you've extended the height of the vision of the vehicle by approximately half to three quarters of a metre. So in a group situation you may have two or three LVs parked around you or coming from different directions. All your orange lights can all blend into one. You know they're there but you don't know where they are, you can't physically see them. But with that extra height you can actually place every vehicle in the drive. So yeah, I think it's a good thing. We had positive feedback from operation staff. Uh, they noticed the light vehicles were clearly visible underground with the buggy whips and the IVMS system has made huge gains in helping us change operator behaviour and making them more aware. I've been uh, trucking for now the last four years. Uh, the fatigue management system since it's come in has been good. Uh, truckies that get tired, it's a long uh, coming from the bottom of the decline, can be like an hour trip. And if they say get a bit tired, that picks up on their retinas and that, and the seat vibrates on them. It also notifies them back here that it's actually been activated and that's... Up until the IVMS got rolled out, we've had um, a couple of incidents on site that uh, could have been prevented if uh, driver behaviours could have been modified. Um, since we've implemented IVMS, we haven't had a, uh, a single event with an LV underground. Uh, when you piggyback that with the IVMS underground, um, that MIST system now as a package uh, is probably given me the confidence, um, being underground now close to 30 years, and this is the closest we've seen, I think, as an industry to try and prevent those sort of incidents from happening underground. So, great initiative.